Hey guys, it's me, Freddy Pop Collector, and as we all know who have played a FNAF game, the main staple of the franchise are its jump scares. From FNAF 1 all the way to the newest release, Special Delivery, almost every single game in the franchise has had jump scares, minus a few exceptions like FNAF World. It's really impressive how well some of these are done, but they're not all really perfect. So today we're going to be going through what I personally believe to be the top 10 worst jump scares in the entire franchise. Before we jump right into number 10, let me give you my definition of a bad FNAF jump scare. A good FNAF jump scare is one that makes me jump while also looking cool at the same time. Take Nightmare Fredbear's jump scare for example. It's really cool looking while also making me jump every single time. Except, you know, when I'm expecting it. A bad FNAF jump scare is basically the opposite of all of these things, not really scaring me while at the same time looking pretty bad compared to the other ones. It really is impressive how many good jump scares Scott was able to make, but they're not all on the same level, and so let's just get right into number 10. Coming in at number 10 is Scrap Baby's jump scare from Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria Simulator. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, figuring out the top 8 wasn't that tough, but trying to find jump scares for the number 9 and number 10 spots was incredibly difficult. I had to be really nitpicky, but I finally found two jump scares for the number 10 and number 9 spots. And unfortunately, coming in at number 10 is Scrap Baby's Office jump scare from Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria Simulator. I specify Office jump scare because the salvage minigame jump scare is actually really good. In fact, all four Scrap animatronic salvage jump scares are way better than their office jump scares. The reason why I ultimately chose this jump scare for the number 10 spot is because it's honestly really underwhelming compared to the other ones. She pops up on the screen and doesn't really move after that. A really good way to improve this jump scare is if her face plates move, that would have made it a lot more scary and a lot more surprising. Coming in at number 9 is Molten Freddy's Office Jump Scare from FNAF 6. Basically, all the flaws I brought up with Scrap Baby's Jump Scare is the same case with Molten Freddy. Being from sister location, he could have had his face plates moving in the jump scare, maybe he could have been moving around a little bit more too. If you think I'm being mean to these FNAF 6 jump scares, Scott himself even updated these jump scares because he wasn't proud of them. I will say this though about the FNAF 6 jump scares, they have the best jump scare scream out of all the games except for sister location. In my opinion. Coming in at number 8 is Nightmare and Nightmare Owns jump scares from FNAF 4. On one hand, these jump scares are really cool and some of the most unique in the series, but on the other hand, they're not scary at all. Sure, this jump scare is really creepy more than anything, but when I die to Nightmare or Nightmare Own, I feel more frustrated than scared. I think the main reason for that is the background audio that goes along with the jump scare is very quiet. Compare this to Golden Freddy, which is very similar. That noise was very loud, and in my opinion, I think Golden Freddy pulls off the still image jump scare a lot better. Coming in at number 7 is Withered Bonnie's Jump Scare from Ultimate Custom Night. It's pretty well accepted in the FNAF community that the UCN jump scares aren't that good. Let me reiterate that. You've got your really good jump scares that almost rival the originals like Nightmare Freddy, Nightmare, Toy Freddy, Mangle, FNAF 1 Freddy, etc. But then you've got your really, really bad jump scares like Withered Bonnie and a few more I'll mention later down the list. The main problem with this jump scare is that Withered Bonnie doesn't move, the background just shakes a little bit, and to me it just really takes away the tension. If you didn't know, the reason why some of the UCN jump scares are pretty bad is because Ultimate Custom Night is one of the biggest games and Click Team can only handle so much, so Scott had to cut some corners and cut back on the jump scares a little bit. Coming in at number 6 is Springtrap's Jump Scare from FNAF 3. Some people may be mad at me that I'm ranking Springtrap's Jump Scare lower than Withered Bonnie's UCN Jump Scare, but just hear me out. Springtrap's Jump Scare already isn't that scary, not a lot is going on here, but at the same time it has the FNAF 3 Jump Scare noise, which in my opinion is one of the least scary. At least Withered Bonnie's Jump Scare noise was a lot more surprising because the FNAF 2 Jump Scare noise is a lot louder and a lot more surprising, but this Jump Scare is actually the most important in the entire series because if it was good, the series probably would have ended. The only reason why Scott created FNAF 4 is because people weren't happy with the FNAF 3 jump scare. So thank you, Springtrap. Kicking off the top 5, we have Nightmare Mangle's Ultimate Custom Night Jump Scare. It's the exact same case as Withered Bonnie, only in my opinion a little bit more disappointing. Nightmare, Nightmare Freddy, Nightmare Bonnie, Nightmare Chica, Nightmare Fred Bears, Jacko Chicas, Nightmare Balloon Boys, and Plush Traps Jump Scares were all animated and really well done. I just think it's a bummer that Nightmare Mangle was the only nightmare in that entire game to have its jump scare be more on the bad side. 
Coming in at number 4 is Foxy's FNAF 1 Jump Scare. I feel bad for putting a jump scare from the first game this low on the list, but I'm gonna be honest, this one has never scared me before. Foxy's very far away, and the overall jump scare is over really quickly. All the other FNAF 1 jump scares, in my opinion, are really good, but this one just doesn't do it for me. Oh well, at least Foxy got a much better jump scare in Ultimate Custom Night. Taking home the bronze medal for worst FNAF jump scare in my opinion is Ennard's jump scare from Ultimate Custom Night. I'm sorry, but to me personally, this jump scare is easily one of the most disappointing. Like Withered Bonnie and Nightmare Mangle, it's one of those still image jump scares. At the very least, Withered Bonnie and to a lesser extent Nightmare Mangle had some form of a voice, Ennard ditched his voice altogether and got this random radio gargling noise. After Ennard's amazing jump scares in Sister Location and Sister Location Custom Night, this was kind of a letdown. Coming in as runner-up for worst FNAF jump scares are the Phantom Animatronics from Ultimate Custom Night. This may be an unpopular opinion, but the Phantom Animatronic jump scares from FNAF 3 were some of the best in the series. Phantom Foxy and Phantom Balloon Boy had some amazing ones. But in Ultimate Custom Night, they don't even move. At least all the other UC and jump scares I've mentioned up to this point, the background shakes a little bit, but here we got nothing, we just got a black screen with a flash. Couple that with the very unscary FNAF 3 jump scare scream, and you get what in my opinion is one of the worst, if not to some, the worst FNAF jump scares in the entire series. And taking home the crown for what I believe to be the worst FNAF jump scare is Golden Freddy's Ultimate Custom Night jump scare. At the very least, the Phantom Animatronics had a flash on screen, this one is just a still image. Withered Golden Freddy already had an amazing jump scare in FNAF 2 and then Scott decided to give him this one. Again, I understand the game's limitations, but at least make his face a little bit closer. <sighs> oh well, it is what it is. None of these jump scares are bad, they could have been a lot worse. Tell me in the comments what you guys believe the top 10 worst FNAF jump scares are. Again, like I said multiple times throughout the video, this is my personal opinion, so I'd love to hear what you guys think are the top 10 worst in the comments below. But with all that being said, that's all I have for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you're new, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.